What's going on everybody? My name's Chris and welcome back to some more of the Cat Lady. Uh, the last episode, we found out who the Eye of Adam kind of is, but we haven't seen him yet. And he poisoned us and now we're back here with the Queen of Maketh and she's demanding I blow one of these candles with a bit of a trick though. One of them will probably kill me and one of them I'll be able to continue on the story. I don't know what the heck. Or we could refuse entirely though. So which candle should I blow guys? The left one or the right one? Shout it out loud so I can hear right now. I I'm not hearing you yell. Tell me, left or right or refuse? The left one? I don't know. I kind of want to do the right one. I don't think refusing would do anything. You want me to do the left one? Okay, let's do it. Well done, Susan. Do I pass? I pass, apparently. Is this Mitzi? Tomato. It's tomato, you silly. You were thinking about a tomato, right? No, it's tomato. Who says tomato? Seriously, who says tomato? Nobody says tomato, ever. Don't take the mask off. I wonder if he's in here. Did he die too? Tomato is a fruit, silly. Who cares? <laughs> I like tomatoes. So do I. But, I hate to disappoint you, but I was really thinking of onions. Why onions? Freaking Shrek over here. They're the saddest of the vegetables, of course. They make people cry. I... Oh, stop talking about food. What happened it's to hungry. Say, I saw you die. And yet, you are here. What the heck would have happened if I chose the right Alive, candle? Like, if nothing's ever happened. Well... Let's put it this way. Everyone knows cats have nine lives. That'd be interesting if I did have so actually nine lives. So do cat ladies, apparently. But this time, I feel there won't be second chances. I'm down to one last life now. I can't afford to waste it. Well, oh, so I guess I do have Such kind of... Such a mistake. I've died more than nine times. You are absolutely fucking bonkers. <laughs> Yeah. But I'm so happy to see you. You could tell why I died. Ever do that to me again, all right? I've already done I it can times. happily promise you that, Mitzi. I'm glad Mitzi didn't die. This see, is well, it. His room is through that door. What would happen? It's time to face the eye of Adam. If I chose what the right candle, for? or if Let's I didn't give it. Mitzi the gas mask, would she have died, or would she have taken it anyways? What I said, screw it. I'm just giving it to her anyways. Can we go out? Nope. Okay, that was worth a try. Well, crap. I really wish. You know what? Oh, I was going to save. You know what? We're going to save just in case. Oh, we're, the last time we saved was a, the freaking misery girl. In, in the bathroom. In the bat. In the baru. Bathroom. Alright, let's go. Oh, these are all his victims. It's like freaking Dexter. Oh. Oh. You're, you're the eye of Adam. Well then, was not expecting this one. A pathetic wheelchair bound invalid? Is this a joke? Wow. Do you do you know who I am? Can he even speak? Is he gonna Do be you like know Stephen what you've Hawking? done to me? Hello, I am the Eye of Adam. You fucking murderer! Tonight oh. it's your turn to die. Chew him in the kneecaps, bitch. I'm gonna paint this room with your brains and I'm gonna watch and smile. I swear to God I'll do it. Watch well, this not be. Nothing to say? Nothing at all? What are you gonna feel this isn't the Eye Aren't of Adam? Oh, beg look. For your sad little life. Look at his left eye. Is that Say the something. eye of the eye of Adam? Anything! He can't talk. Hello, Mitzi. My name Mitzi. is Adam. Where did you get that gun from? It doesn't matter. Please, Mrs. A. This is something I have to do. You are free to leave if you want. You don't have to be a part of it. Just try to understand. Eh, we've killed enough people. We could kill one more. Beg for forgiveness, you scum. 
He's sleeping. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? He's sleeping through all you of this. You don't believe I'm gonna shoot you, do you? Oh, I've dreamt of this moment for so long. Look at this man, Mitzi. He hasn't twitched a muscle since we entered the room. I think he's paralyzed. So how does he, you know, type on the keyboard? How does he communicate? That's impossible! He's lying to us! He's faking it! You better Do still something. kill him! Talk for God's sake! I need you to answer me! I need to know! He won't answer you. He can't talk. Then... How did he post all that stuff online? Yeah. What the... Uh... Oh, he's using his eye! Holy crap! To be able to convince people to kill themselves in this kind of fashion, he meet that last. How... How did he do it? He's using his eye, that's actually neat. I think I know how. His magic See eye! See that little device on his left eye? I've heard about these. It's a controller. It seems... The only part of his body he can move is his eyeball. What a controller bad. connected to the computer oh. tracks its movement, How allowing would you live him like to. This? What? That's ridiculous. How do you even know such things? I'm a nurse. I've seen these before. Well, I've seen eye-controlled wheelchairs, but there's no reason why it wouldn't work with a computer. That would explain hmm. the whole Eye of Adam thing. That's neat, actually. Really Clever. It is just the eye. But... No. That doesn't change anything. No. He must die. Yeah, he needs to die, he actually. He deserves nothing more. Yep, I agree, actually. What are you gonna say now? Type something. I guess you're really wanted to, you could figure out what he's gonna say, but I guess they're gonna say it anyways. Do it! Do it! What? I want it! You arrogant shit! I will fucking do it! Just tell me one thing. One thing! Go on. Why? Why did you make Jack kill himself? For the lols. If he says for the lols, I will flip. <gasps> That's an F. O. Oh, v. E. What? If he says for the lols, I will freaking explode. I, I, I actually pull the trigger, you'll find. Oh, he wasn't really typing. Fine. It'll oh, be a pleasure. Oh, I don't like those Ready gas die, tanks behind them. Don't shoot. Look at the oxygen tanks. Don't think it's a good idea. Why? You lied to me. You say you're never. Look killed. at these oxygen tanks. I don't think it's a good idea. Shoot them up. What? Why not? I'm the one holding a gun here, and I will blow this bastard's brain out no. as soon as he looks at me. Do you hear me? Shooting in a good direction, Mitzi. Look at no, me. She's gonna die. I want you to see what you've done. The pain you've caused me. Mitzi, that's not what I meant. Just put the gun down for a second. Tell her. No. Explosions. No. Go boom. I can't do that, Mrs. A. Oh. I'm sorry. Mitzi. This is something I have to do. I have to. Can't you hear that hissing sound? These cylinders are clearly leaking gas. Oh, Please that I didn't notice. Stay out of it. You'll make a whole room blow up. I don't care. Just wheel him out of here, Leave then me shoot alone. him. You lied to me. Never said fine. Kill. Don't no. You lied to me. You never said you wanted to kill him. Yeah, now, but he deserves it. Wasn't that quite obvious? What did you think I wanted to do? Have a coffee with him? Chat about the weather or? or Politics. Keep the mask on him and drag him outside the room. For God's and then sake, 
seriously? I'm here because this son of a bitch needs to die. Yeah. If I don't, don't kill do him now, he'll just carry on and more innocent people will lose their lives. Can't you just knife him? Do you really want that? There's gonna be a I knife. Don't. There's gonna be a knife somewhere. There's a better way to do this. There's no way to do it. Just turn these computer. Think about it for a second. One track. This isn't the way to do it. Just turn these computers off instead. No! He doesn't deserve to live after what he's done. And who are you to serve justice like this? Do you really want to kill an unarmed, paralyzed man? No, well, he should die, but... Why are you doing this, Mrs. A? I thought you were my friend. That's exactly why I'm doing this. Even if we survive the explosion, how will you be able to live with yourself? I won't have very long to live with it. I'll manage just fine. Oh no. Fine, kill him. Think about it for a second. Would Jack really want it? I thought it was father. He's harmless. Think about it for a second. Would Jack really want this? No, but he's crazy. He... This bastard messed with Jack's head. He tricked him. That's what he does. He fucking tricked him. And now but she's trying, would Jack he's really trying to want trick you her. To become a murderer? No. He wouldn't. He wasn't violent at all. He was the kindest, sweetest guy I ever knew. Exactly. Now, put that gun down already. But what about me? No, I'll do it. I know Jack will forgive me. Yeah. Without his father, he's harmless. I don't want to tell he him was to kill the one who supplied yet. him with all this technology. He fulfilled his every single wish. I know this guy's rotten bad. There's no excuse for what he did. But he will be punished for it. Trust me. They'll put him in some stinking nursing home. He'll live his life like a vegetable. Stuck to bed. He'll have time to think about what he's done. Break the eye thing on him, seriously, and without never it. see a computer screen again. Isn't that enough? That would be a better punishment, actually. He said, do it. Yeah, you're gonna do what he wants? He wants to die, and I want to kill him. He, he wants, wants us, us all, all to die. die. Can't you, Can't see, you see that? that? Isn't that what he's been preaching? A joint suicide. That's why he wants you to shoot him. So we can all get blown to pieces. His final act, the work of his life. Are you really going to give him that satisfaction? Remember what satisfaction you said about killing the troll? Indeed. That's exactly what you're going to do if you kill him now. Don't feed the troll, Mitzi. Maybe you're right. <laughs> Unless this is all leave, super Mrs. elaborate. A. I'd never want you to get hurt. No, no, well, I'm not we almost going away without this fucker dead. Even if that means I die too. Mitzi, oh, you lost your mind. There's better ways You're to going kill him. You're to sacrifice your life for this scum. There's He's better ways. a parasite. A worthless, evil piece of shit. There's better ways to do this, Mitzi. It's not like I've got anyone to live for, is it? Me, live for me. What? What about your mother? Your family? She's dead. Yeah, yeah. that's not a shocker. I lied. I always lie. I grew Aww. up in an orphanage. My family never wanted to know me. The only person that cared about me was Jack. And he's dead! That's yeah. sad. Happy now? So get the fuck out of here and let me do what I got to do. I care about you, Mitzi. Yes. I care about you. Do it for me. Oh, do we do it? It would have been so easy for us to tell it. I don't, I don't want her to die. I don't. Do we do it? Come or on, she, mate. Or is she gonna say "f the police" it's and just shoot anyways? It's been a long anyways? day. Let's go home. Uh, we still got Joe downstairs. To We've won. Have oh. we really? You better Trust not me. taunt us. I know I we have. Don't oh. taunt us. Don't I'm the cat lady. Dare. From now on, I win every single day. No, don't. I'm. I'm don't. Don't. He didn't say. 
he clearly didn't want us to kill him that bad, considering he didn't, like, you know, do anything. Oh, oh, no, it's fitting out. Bye! You should have probably turned off the computers or something. Just let him sit there and probably just rot to death. Yeah, I should probably crush it's that me. eye. Again, talking Hello. about my ordinary little life, as usual. As I'm per still usual. surprised anyone would want to read this at all. The ramblings of a cat lady. What, are you reading a book now? Are we Maybe the I'm book? Maybe I'm not a cat lady anymore. Things have changed here since Mitzi's death. Oh, Mitzi's dead. What about Joe? I'll I'm never torching. forget those last few weeks. It's a horrible way to die. Stuck in a hospital bed with no hope and whole life to pass you by. Yeah, it would be terrible Six times. Ago, I lost the best friend I'd ever had. But at least we knew it was coming. Is this I had the time end? to accept it, just like she did. And I can only be glad we spent that time together. I still miss her, though. Every day. Every day, yeah. We're still not did done I here, though. Did I mention I got into all this because of her? Got into what? I opened Drugs? Her laptop the night Alcohol? After the funeral. And there it was. A friend request. Over a year old. A little gift from behind the grave. Oh, from I'm Mitzi. Oh. We go out sometimes. And I'm not alone anymore. It turned out there were others you. who felt like I did. I talked to them. Tried to help. And helping other people is the best way to make you yourself happy. Can't think of clearly all I could do is cry. I wish that I'd never been born. The only thing that holds me back is a thought, quite frankly, as sick I almost wish I were dead. Kill myself without any guilt. It's not your fault, but that was the past. Give yourself the chance to move on from here. And now she's doing the exact opposite that the Eye of Adam did. This can't be the end, right? I was planning on making a cat lady too, which that probably would suck. No one else don't have to deal with this kind of pain. I told myself something. Blah, 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 blah. What about Joe? I mean, we didn't kill the Eye of Adam. We have not killed all five parasites. And we saw Joe downstairs torturing his wife. And they wouldn't just show us that scene for nothing, right? Right. And now I'm writing this blog. Right. I must confess, yesterday was bad. It was one of those days when you feel like you're back in the past and all the good stuff that happened was just a dream. It was only just a dream. Oh, it's so bright. It's so bright. But I woke up today feeling better. Maybe I can never get rid of it. This invisible illness. Maybe hmm. it will always be living somewhere deep inside me. Asleep. Waiting. And when it'll hit me, it'll hit me hard. No, you'll do fine, especially with friends now. Everything's so blue. This seems like an end. Or does it? Oh, maybe not. Maybe not quite yet. We gotta go talk to the Queen of Maggots again, don't we? Is this Mitzi's grave? Oh, these are gonna be the flowers she hated. Oh, nope, no, those are different flowers, looks like. The Queen of Maggots is gonna show up, question mark? Ooh, oh, that's that grave we saw before. As we saw the car that was on fire. This can't be the end. Right? And if there's one thing Mitzi taught me, it's that you have to pick yourself up and carry on. It doesn't matter that life isn't fair. It doesn't matter that you make mistakes. You fall and rise again. Worlds full of liars, traitors, cowards. But every now and then, you meet someone like Mitzi, who will just smile at it all. Now, yeah. I've forgiven the world and myself too. I teach myself to smile again. She One day smile. I'll get there. I know I will. Smile. Smile. Even if it takes me not nine, but nine hundred lives. Am I, st am I still unkillable? That'd be pretty neat.
think that's the end. What about Joe? What? What? Are the credits gonna tell me anything? Well then. This was a fantastic game. This is the cat lady, everyone. Um, if you like the series, I'll leave a download link down below in the description. Um, that was a really great game. The only thing I noticed is some of the deaths seemed rushed. Like the the guy that kidnapped me and Mitzi and threw us in the bathtub. The guy that I completely forgot about was just that very forgettable and kind of just thrown in there. He seemed kind of random. The rest of them all seem like you know thought out. Like, you know, villains, but, um, he just, yeah, like, the pest control man and the, the old nurse girl, those are both those, that was probably the best part in the game, going through the haunted house, and Dr. X was thought out pretty well, Queen of Maggots, how do, I still wonder what would happen if we blew up the other candle, or even refused, or what would happen if we kept the gas mask for ourselves? But I guess if you guys want to find that out, you can just go play it yourself. Yeah, I'm not. Maybe I'll go play it myself and find that out, or I'll probably eventually figure it out. I'll maybe I'll watch a let's play. I have been watching Paul's and Paul's let's play as I'm as I keep ahead of him um, in the recordings. Um, but yeah, what else is there? Yeah, I wish something would have happened with Joe. I mean, that door wasn't open downstairs, I couldn't have gone there. And it seemed kind of random. Hmm, if only there was a way for me to go there and just punch him in the face. As he keeps his- See, and why was- Why was his wife Ivy like- We saw her! We saw her a few times, we saw the ghost before we got like transported to that weird world where Misery was. Codename Misery, I'll call her. And like, every time we saw her, she was skinny. But then when we saw her being tortured in the basement, she was fat. So it's like, what? I don't know. I don't know. Kind of weird. I can't really, maybe... The only thing I think of is maybe we're in the memory of Joe and we're trying, like, this is how he perceived her. Or something. But then, I, I don't know, it's weird. But then why, why would he perceive her as a corpse in a chair and sitting in front of mirrors? Who knows? I don't know. And he's like electrocuting her, and it's like what? That, the, that that was the only yeah. That was probably the only like real complaint I had with this game. Yeah, I have Adam. They should have probably pressed any key to live. Oh, it's turning off the game, isn't it? I fell for that. <laughs> oh, what a fantastic game! Thanks so much for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the Cat Lady. Feel free to check out any of the other stuff I did. Um, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.